guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with the Mid-Year Book Freakout Tag. This was created by Is That Chammy and Ellie Jane and I think it's always best to do this because I always freak out in the middle of the year. Like, Christmas is going to be here soon and then a whole new year starts and everything that I planned for this year hasn't gone to plan. And if I keep thinking about this, I'm just going to continue spiralling. So let's get on with the video. So the first question is best book you've read so far in 2018. See, this is hard because usually when I talk about the best book so far, like I did in my last video, I can narrow it down to like the top few. And when you say just pick one, my mind is like, how do you just pick one? I'm not going to lock this in. But if I had to pick one right now on the spot, I'm going to have to pick Red Rising by Pierce Brown because it is the most fresh in my mind. I recently read this book and I really, really loved it. So this book follows a young man called Darrow and Darrow is a red. So this is like a typical dystopia novel where you have different levels of people who get colour coordinated. Red is basically the lowest and you have gold which are the highest. Um, and Darrow has basically been working up on Mars to colonise it for the people of Earth and basically save them. So he gets low rations, he gets his work to the bone and he gets treated a bit like dirt. And when his wife ends up being killed, he finds out that his whole life has been lied to. So he joins the rebellion to help bring down the gold and to kind of even out society. So that's definitely my favourite read so far. I need to read the rest of the series and I hope it's going to be just as good. I do think it's actually a really important book despite these like really heavy themes. It also has really good messages in it as well. Um, especially things that you can relate to in 2018 too. Um, especially with like the society levels and matters. So... I think it's one that you guys should probably take a look at picking up if there these are things that you guys can stomach because it is pretty damn brutal. Question number two is best sequel that you've read so far in 2018. I just had the sudden realization that I haven't actually read any sequels to books. Um, so for this question I'm going to have to say Obsidio, which is the third and final book in the Illuminae Files. This is the actual only series that I've continued on with this year. I haven't read that many books this year, but I need to pick up my game. I enjoyed Obsidio. I don't think it was as amazing as the other two books in this series, and I think that for a finale it wasn't as action-packed as the other books, but I still really enjoyed it because I absolutely love these stories. If you guys are after an epic sci-fi, you should definitely read this. It is so action-packed and there's always something happening and their characters are really fun as well. And the writing style is quite unique and you guys will enjoy it. Number three is a new release that you haven't read yet but you want to. This one is very easy for me. It is A Reaper at the Gate by Sabah Tahir. This is book number three in the Ember Quartet and I'm very very excited for it. Um, so the first one is an Ember in the Ashes and it is a fantasy series that is fantastic. I absolutely love it and I am going to be starting this one soon but I have a book that I need to read before it and then it's all mine. I just love this book so much. Like I haven't even read it and I already love it. Question number four is the most anticipated release for the next half of the year. That one is a very easy question for me to answer as well and I am so blessed to actually have the book in my hands to show you guys but I have not read it yet but I will be straight away and that is Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. So I'm a huge fan of Marcus Zusak and I'm a huge fan of absolutely anything that he writes so I'm very very excited for Bridge of Clay and I cannot wait to actually read it. It. But it's actually in my hands, which is crazy. But anyway, this one is released on the 9th of October, so make sure you guys go out and buy it and support Marcus Zusak and let him know how amazing he is. And I can't wait to tell you guys about how much I love this book when I finally finish it. Number five is my biggest disappointment. Number six is Biggest Surprise. My biggest surprise this year has been The Scandal by Frederick Backman. I bought this book because it is pretty. And I read this book because I bought it and thought that I probably should read it and not just buy books because they're pretty anymore because that's how I lose my money. And I loved this book. It's probably one of my favourite reads so far for 2018. And it was one that I went into completely blind. I hadn't heard anyone's opinions on it. I hadn't even heard of the book before I bought it. And it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. The writing style that Frederick Backman has is phenomenal. If you guys are after a slow-paced yet really rewarding read, I definitely recommend picking this one up. It is to do with a scandal that revolves around a small town and how everyone in this town deals with it. And it is really, really amazing, despite that blurb sounding really, really boring. Number seven is your favourite new author. I haven't really got a new favourite author from this year. I do. 
Tomi Adeyemi. She wrote Children of Blood and Bone, and she is a fantasy author that I will buy every book from now because I really, really enjoyed this. This was an amazing book. There was one thing I didn't like about it, and that was the romance aspect of it. Otherwise, like the writing, the characters, the plot, everything else was fan fucking tastic. Question number eight. Eight is my newest fictional crush. Um, I basically crush on everybody that I read, so I'm not entirely sure who my favourite would be so far. This is just me looking at this, like, the piles of books that I now have scattered around me from filming two videos in a row. Um, you know, I'm going to really cop this answer out for now and just pick one of my all-time favourite book crushes, which is Isabel Lightwood. I, I love her. I would die for her. If I had to pick a second one, it would be Rose Hathaway because they're basically the same person, but uh, I just I love Isabel. She has a place in my heart forever. Number 10 is a book that made me cry. I haven't actually cried at any books this year, which I know, I know you guys probably don't believe me because I am an emotional wreck of a human being, but I actually haven't. And I'm going to blame it to the fact that I haven't read that many books this year, but I can say that the most emotional one to read so far has been The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. This one is based on a true story of a man who was basically the tattooist of Auschwitz um, called Lael and it follows his story as he was taken to the prison um, as he's given the role of the tattooist as he falls in love and he endures and hopes to survive this camp. Obviously having a war-based book is something that is quite heart-wrenching and sad to read about anyway but I didn't cry in it but I was very very close. Number 11 is a book that made me happy. All of the books always, books always make me happy. Buying the book alone makes me happy and even reading it makes me even happier so I can't just pick one. Every book makes me happy. Every book makes me happy. Number 12 is my favorite film to book movie adaption that I've seen so far this year. Love, Simon. That is one that I have actually watched. I haven't watched a lot of movies either, but I loved it. It was so cute, and I want more of everything to do with Love, Simon. I really hope that they do make a layer on the offbeat movie. I don't know if they will. I haven't even read the book, but like anything that has those characters in it, I am down to watch or read. Number 13 is your favorite review that you've done so far this year, or the booktube version, which is favorite video that you have done so far this year. Well, I've done like six or seven videos so far this year because life has been busy so I'm going to actually pick my most recent video at the present time of filming which isn't my most recent video now that I think about it but Anyway, um, I would have to say my supernova wrap up plus two exciting books. This video though, like it was just like an average video to film. It involves things that I am really proud that I have done and things that I've really enjoyed doing this like past six months and includes two books that I have mentioned in this video that I was also really, really excited for. And it basically just talks about supernova and doing things that I love and just I don't know, I was really happy, so I enjoyed that one the most. The most beautiful book that I've bought so far this year or received. So this will have to be a toss up between the most beautiful, which I would have to say is Little Women and Other Stories by Louisa May Alcott in the stunning Barnes & Noble leather bound edition which I collect. It is quite beautiful and I love it so so much. All the absolutely adorable perfect imperfections by Alex Cerns. This is um, beautiful dog portraits with dogs that have disabilities and it's... it's... <laughs> you need to look at it. And number 15 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? We're gonna go on a little trip because I need to read all of these books by the end of the year and all of these books which are double stacks by the end of the year. I don't think that I could probably just pick one. I have a lot to read and I have a lot to catch up on and if I keep buying books and not actually reading them I'm going to die under a pile of unread books. Which we can't have, can we? So there you guys have the mid-year book freakout tag. I haven't had breakfast yet and I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to tag Tanika from Flipping Through the Pages who is one of my all-time favourite people in the entire world. So check her out. You guys will love her as much as I do. And I'll be back with another video again soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any video ideas, let me know. And until then, I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Bye. So let's get started. I have 87 books that I have recently got. I don't want to make this video way too long for you guys, so I'm going to kind of be quick going 